Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today I'm going to be showing you a birthday card using the Crazy Bird stamps from Tim Holtz. So first of all, I'm going to use my Nima Desert Storm card and I'm going to use the Tim Holtz stamps Crazy Things with my black archival ink. I am also going to use the Tim Holtz Bird Crazy Stamps. I have made a mask for the party hat and I've stuck it over the stamped image and I am now stamping my bird over the top. I am now going to use my Jofi 47 Paper Artsy Stamps. I've also made a mask for my bird and I'm just stamping the parcel over the top. I then make a mask for my parcel and then I use my background stamp Daisy Daisy to add some texture to the background. I'm also going to use my archival ink potting soil. As you can see, I've written top on the back of my stamp so that I know which way up the writing goes. I'm now going to use the Electrica EEG 15 stamps from Paper Artsy. And I'm going to use my Fern Green and my Red Geranium archival inks. I then peel away all the mask and my stamped area is free from the background images. Next I trim my card down to size. I then use my corner punch to make the edges rounded. I then use my stamps again just to fill up some of the gaps. I'm now going to use the Tim Holtz Crazy Talk stamps. As I am stamping these words, I keep getting a black mark on the edge of my stamp. So as you can see, I'm just cutting that off with a pair of scissors, just so when I stamp it again, I don't get that mark anymore. I am now using my Derwent Colour Soft Pencils. This is the full set of colours in the presentation box. I don't have this full set in stock, but if you do want to buy a set, I can order them in for you. The recommended retail price for this set is £149.95p. To sharpen my pencils, I use this automatic long point pencil sharpener. It has two different holes. I will just show you. You also get spare blades and two smaller holes for um, smaller pencils. So the first hole, I'll just show you the length of the pencil. The first hole you use will make the lead longer. You should always move the pencil sharpener rather than the pencil so you don't break the lead all the way down it. Don't know what I'm doing now. In a minute, I might show you. And let's sharpen it a bit more. So, hopefully, what am I doing? Come on, Louise. So, as you can see here, the first hole, when we get it into focus, makes the lead longer. 
Then you go back, once I've emptied it, then you go back and use the second hole, which makes the lead into a nice long point. I should show you, there you go. Personally, this is the best pencil, uh, pencil, pencil sharpener that I've found on the market. So now I am just using my colour soft pencils to colour in my images. I will just show you a little bit and then skip to the end. I am now going to use a product called Assessed It, which is an oil paint dilutant and brush cleaner, which works really well with your wax pencils to blend them. So I'm using a piece of cut and dry foam in a um, plastic box, and I'm going to use my pipette just to add a bit of the solution onto the cut and dry foam. I'm going to use a Derwent blending stump. I also have a smaller one for the little gaps to use as well. You then dip your blending stump into the blending solution. You just want to pick up a little bit. You don't want it to soak all the way up the paper stump. And then you just use your paper stump over the top of your colouring to smooth it out. I should show you a close-up of the difference in a second. There you go. Now the bottom part you can still see the actual card in areas although it doesn't really show up on the camera. So when you use your blending stump it's literally smoothing out the colour As you can see here now, the colouring actually looks like it's been printed on rather than coloured in with a coloured pencil. To clean my paper stump, I just use a sanding block. To keep your paper stumps so that they have a nice sharp point, I just use a craft knife on a cutting board and I just go down the edges of the paper stump with the craft knife to make it into a fine point again. Now that I have finished colouring my images, I am going to stick this with some double-sided tape onto a black piece of card. I'm now going to use my layer perfect tool just to cut a border around my stamped images. I then use my corner punch again just to round off the edges. I then use my Sue Wilson Rambling Blossoms Emboss Board. I then use my double-sided tape and my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick the embossed panel onto my card base.
Next I use my scissors just to trim up the word blocks and I just position them to where I want them. I will then use my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick these pieces onto the card. I am now going to use my food ball pen to go around my word blocks just to make them pop out a little bit. I am now going to use my Wink of Stella glitter pen just to add a bit of sparkle to the party hat and to the bow. And that is this card all finished. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, if you have please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.